Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for MassiveSynth.com. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Toots, that's T-U-T-S. So today's video is going to be a quick one, and it might be redundant for any of those who those of you who've used Massive for any length of time, and I apologize if that is the case, but I have received more than a few questions asking on my videos how I do certain functions, like how I uh, mouse click certain things or, or what am I holding on a key command to do certain functions. So I wanted to put all of these tips and tricks into one video because I, I've not done that ever, and I've actually not seen a tutorial that just cover these little random tips and tricks for uh, clicking and holding shift and alt click and all of that in Massive. So I thought that might be helpful to some of you. First, let's talk about the idea of double clicking. Double clicking on a parameter in Massive will typically, on most knobs or even sometimes the sliders and these numeric values and the oscillators, it'll bring it back to default. So let's say you have an oscillator pitched up. And let's say you don't want it pitched up anymore. Just double click and it will go back to zero. Uh, let's look at this envelope mod that we have. Double click, it'll go to zero. It'll even work on some of the faders. Let's say, I mean some of the knobs. Let's say you go and you EQ your sound and you don't like it. Uh, double click, everything will go back to its center or default position. This will also work on your modulation depths. And by that, I mean uh, you, the depth of how far you're modulating with a certain source. So with this LFO and I pull it all the way out, same with this envelope. If you, for some reason, let's say it gets messed up or you just it gets too crazy and you, you wanna just start over without actually disconnecting the modulation by right clicking and turning off or alt clicking to bypass or mute it, you can double click and it keeps your connection. You can still see I have envelope two and five active. It's just, it goes back to the default setting, which is no modulation depth. So that's helpful, it's quick, it's easy, it doesn't take a lot of time to do instead of having to finally slide everything, it'll actually go to the center if that's where you want it to be. All right, second little thing you can do, let's say you want to connect multiple uh, modulation points with the same connection or the same modulator being, let's say, envelope one. Well, typically, if I just click and drag and drop and let up, I now have to go grab it again. Let's say you want it on multiple sources. Well, that's kind of a pain in the butt. So what you can do is you can, if you hold down shift while you click and keep holding shift, you'll see that the one still remains by my mouse and I can put it in any of these boxes I want. Only stipulation is you have to keep holding shift to do that. As soon as you drop it into a box or a, a modulation or connecting point and you let up on shift, it goes away. So there we just dropped uh, envelope one on a bunch of different sounds. Okay, so that's that's a cool function to do if you're and if you're going to put like if you're making a dubstep wobble or something or a growl, you'll typically need to modulate a bunch of parameters with one LFO or something. So it makes it quicker, a little bit easier. All right, now let's talk about bypassing these envelopes. And this was a question I got just last week actually. So someone asked how I was doing this. What I'm doing is I'm just holding down Alt or Option on my keyboard and I just click on it and it bypasses. So it's a little bit easier and not as time consuming as actually right clicking or control clicking. And then you get this toggle or this drop down menu where you can click off. So that's easier and it, and it works inversely too. So if you wanna unmute it, you just Alt click it again and it will mute or unmute depending on what position it was in when you're clicking. Okay, so let's talk about the pitch boxes in the oscillators really quick. Let's say, you want to just pitch every uh, oscillator in your active sound up 12. So right now I have this kind of weird bass sound. So you, you can obviously click and slide up to 12, click and slide up to 12. Now if you want to be quicker about it, uh, if you can, you can hold down, if you hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard and then go to the first zero and move up, you'll see that it'll move your pitch up in, in octaves. So if you keep holding it down, let me get back to uh, 12. I'm trying to let you see the mouse mouse gets in the way. If I'm holding down Alt or Option now, if I just keep moving up, see it's moving in, in octaves, which is nice, because then you can just do it really quick. And you don't have to actually go to the individual values. And you can go up or down with that. So there are some tips and tricks to be a little bit more efficient with clicking and dragging and dropping and certain functions inside of Massive. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't headed over to MassiveSynth.com, check it out. Tons of cool things Massive. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.